this Ignite Clean Energy competition fits keenly into the mission of the MIT Enterprise Forum. And I, I'd just like to, usually uh, mission statements are horribly boring, and it's blah, blah, blah. But this mission statement, I think, is really very important. So I'd like to just read, there are five key aspects to this mission statement. And you'll see how this relates to our competition. The first is that the forum educates and inspires technology entrepreneurs and company founders. Well, that's what ICE does. We inspire people to start companies. Many of the uh, founding uh, leaders of these companies have told us they would not have started their companies had it not been for the competition, that the competition was a catalyst for them to figure out their business plan and get started. The second component is connect founders with one another and our entrepreneurial support network. And many of the uh, sponsors you see are part of that network, whether it's MTC, it's venture capitalists providing funding or lawyers providing patent assistance or project um, legal assistance. All these are part of our support network that helps entrepreneurs. The third part is advise and assist in the formation and growth of promising startups. The MIT Enterprise Forum offers, I don't know, over 100 programs, Trish, throughout the years, of the year, each year. Uh, these programs are on, on how to get financing, how to start a company, uh, how to start a company in energy, how to start a company in biotechnology. And there's a wonderful set of programs for beginners as well as more experienced entrepreneurs. The fourth is to strengthen the local technology and business clusters. And that's what we're trying to do today. That's what we try to do all year with this, is we're trying to build the next big cluster in the region. And it's not biotechnology, and it's not software, it's clean energy technology. And finally, the fifth is all this effort is to build technology companies that help build our innovation economy, because that's what we do on the East Coast. We don't have a lot of crops. We don't have natural resources in the ground. We have brains and people with ideas. And commercializing those ideas is what this competition is all about. We see ICE as the first step in this whole process of recruiting teams, of going out. And we, what we'd like to say is we're creating the farm leagues of the future. The farm leagues, using a baseball metaphor, to become major league teams. We hope to see these teams through our programs and the assistance that we provide help them become financially sustainable and a job-creating engine in the economy. This is all done through volunteers, not all of it. We have tremendous help from the MIT Enterprise Forum staff, Trish Fleming and Ann Cheney. Ann, out there. Uh, say hi to Ann. She does a fantastic job for us, as well as others. But the core are volunteers. And as with all big organizations, we have a chief executive volunteer. You know this chief executive. She's tireless. She works unbelievable for this. What She has a passion for helping the teams. She goes out and she visits all the universities, all the colleges. And I'd like to say she politely encourages them, or we could say that she cajoles them, into coming and being part of this competition, of taking their idea and making something out of it. And that's Linda Plano. She's done a fantastic job. She's our chair for the Ignite Clean Energy competition. She um, does this uh, throughout the year. She's, she uh, works at, I don't know what hours, to build our website. Um, and she tirelessly works with all the teams, all the chair people, to uh, get them organized to bring on this program. So what I'd like to do is please give a warm and loud Boston cheer for Linda Plano. Thank you so much, everybody. You're making it very hard for this to be my last year chairing this. Goodness. Uh, thank you, Jim, for that introduction. As I just told my parents who are also here, thank you very much. Uh, he has been my inspiration for what really matters in building a cluster and what's important in terms of clean energy commercialization. So thank you, Jim for everything you've done to make this happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm up for Cliff here, sorry. <laughs> Let me start again. Okay, so anyway, I hope you're really enjoying this new location for us. We're very grateful to the Hyatt for giving us this beautiful facility to work in and a top-notch staff, I have to say, and also this new time. Does this time work well for everybody here? Oh, yeah. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. 
Anyway, all right, so I am the chair. My name is Linda Plano. I am also officially at work uh, the associate director of the Massachusetts Technology Transfer Center. Uh, my unofficial title there is coach. And in fact, I have had the very great pleasure of coaching each and every one of these finalists over the last couple of weeks. And it is a joy because these people are so passionate about what they're doing. You know, you don't become an entrepreneur unless you care about what you're trying to create. It's almost more important to get those technologies out into the real world than it is to get the money. Now, of course, if you want to actually make a difference in the world, you better be making money doing it. And so that's what this competition is all about. So in order to get, to the, um, in order to get the funding to move forward, you really need to have a great pitch. Um, all startups need investors, whether it's the founders themselves, it's your friends and family, because they have to be sold on why it is you're not coming home until midnight every night. Uh, it's your potential employees, and of course, it's the actual investors, the venture capitalists, angels, and so on. Uh, the pitch is a critical aspect of getting that buy-in from those investors. It's the public face of the company. Don't let the 10-minute length of the pitches you're about to hear fool you. There is an enormous amount of work each and every one of these people has put into this to, get all, to distill all the critical details of their company down into just 10 minutes. It's, uh, as uh, Mark Twain once said, if I'd had more time, I would have written less. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. It takes time to make these things really good. And these are the top 10 out of 61 entrants, so you know these guys are great. So why are they willing to put this kind of time into, a, uh, into this competition? Three reasons, in my opinion, anyway. You guys can correct me later if I'm wrong. Uh, but first and foremost, a killer 10-minute pitch is a great, key, a great tool in raising investment money. Um, they know by coming and working with us that they will learn how to do a great pitch um, and to, they will get the coaching and the mentoring to learn how to make their pitch the best it can be. Second, they know they will get to interact with in industry leaders, with investors, with successful entrepreneurs. They're going to really be able to improve their network. And third, they may win a great suite of prizes. We do have wonderful prizes thanks to our many wonderful sponsors. Uh, but even if not, they know that they are getting the, the profile of their company raised. The publicity has, is one of the main reasons our former uh, participants say that they got benefit out of the competition. They're going to win no matter what. And so that's why we came up with the uh, new tagline for the competition this year. Learn, network, and win. So we are on a very tight schedule, two minutes late already, so I will be brief, um, because we do have the state senator for the Cape and Islands coming in at 4.30. Um, I'd like to first, before we introduce our first speaker, say thank you to our stellar judges here for coming they are Jerry Bird, Vice President for the Massachusetts Technology Development Corp. Um, Jay Fisk, Principal at the Massachusetts Green Energy Fund, I believe. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Why are you hiding in the front row like that? Um, Karina Funk, the Director for the Mins Winslow Management Company. Dan Goldman, Chief Financial Officer for Great Point Energy. Rana Gupta, Managing Director, Navigator Technology Ventures. Mike Jackson, Senior Director of Strategic Development at Enernock. Jim Matheson, general partner at Flagship, Flagship Ventures. And finally, last but not least, Neil Rodberg, director of business development at the Venture Development Center at UMass Boston. Thank you very much for donating your time and your brains to this, to this effort. Okay. Okay, that reminds me of two announcements. I'm going to ask that you hold your applause till the very end since we are going to be going at lightning pace here. And also I want to point out that each of you gets to be a judge today. Fill out your ballot, hand it out on your way out to the exhibits at the end, and we will announce the People's Choice top five winners at the end of the evening as well. As I was saying, we'd like to take a moment to thank our lead sponsor, the Massachusetts Technology Collaborative Renewable Energy Trust. Uh, Director Warren Leon will be here later to present the uh, grand prize. Um, They've been a, as Jim was saying, they have been a central part of this competition from the beginning. And even people who used to be there, such as Judge Karina Funk, have uh, continued with us. Um, I'd also like to thank his team of Carl Jessen, Cece Liu, and Sudhir Nunez. Uh, they've been terrific supports to us. While the MTC has been part of ICE since the beginning, we always need more sponsors. 
So I also want to take a moment to thank the sponsorship committee. We have had the most incredible year for sponsorship. I mean, we've always done well, but this year's committee of Dan Goldman, Jim Walker, and Michael Novak has been just amazing. Uh, we've increased the prizes by, I think it was $75,000. Uh, we brought new companies in, Corning Corporation, for instance. Um, they have done, I didn't think they could surpass last year's successes, but as usual, Jim, you proved me wrong. Um, so we have the MTC and this committee to really thank for the sustainability 